Hello everyone, Steve here, and a welcome to a video showing you which I which um, is what I believe to be the best, uh, the current best farming spot for soul crystals within the game, and it does require DLC three for this. And uh, I'm doing this post commentary, so I'm pretty much watching the video uh, as I'm commentating. So here I am, just showing you the gear that I'm using, the myth rank, uh, the skills, and everything like that. And as and as you can see here, we're on Chaos Level 50. And I want to give a massive shout out to my German buddy, The Shades, for showing me this farming spot. Um, without him, I would never have known this. There he is right there. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so what you want to do is clear out the first little area there. Um, there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video. So it's going to be a bit all over the place, but so I will try and explain the best I can. So as you can see here, we're just moving up to the uh, main door here and just made a cut there. Uh, breaking the chains, running through. And the first room you want to enter then is to your left, which is the minecart room. And this is the room where you're going to be doing all of your soul crystal farming. So during this run, we spent about... 10 minutes or so during this uh, during this run as you can see there at the bottom right 2561 so we get roughly 1200 300 crystals just by doing this for 15 10 15 minutes and it's pretty much just killing stuff letting it all respawn killing it again and uh you want to focus your power your damage onto those uh bloops up there um, they spawn a lot, bunch of these little guys. Uh, White Rider and Ruby Spite are two guns that you really do want to use here. Um, Ruby Spite, especially because once you get the the special bonus, uh, the special um, whatever you call it, the special ability after getting the first kill on the second mode, um, bullets actually home in on enemies, and it does pretty decent damage. So as you can see, we're just spending about a minute or two just killing stuff. So um, I'll just stop the commentary here for now and just let this play out before the, I notice the first cut. Uh, you know what? I just keep on talking, so I don't want too much dead air. So yeah, um, you can take, you can spend about an hour on this if you want to. You can spend even longer. Um, the longer you take, obviously, um, determines how many crystals you actually get. So there I am, having a quick run around, picking stuff up. Um, you only do this every couple of minutes or so, just to just to um, make sure you have your crystals in case the game crashes or something like that. Um, I'll jump it down again in uh, just um, a few seconds here. Another 30 seconds or so. <clears throat> um, that'll be the next cut when you see me do that. Um, you can feel free, of course, to pull the first three switches to lower the uh, the bridges if you want to. Uh, just don't lower the fourth one if you want to continue doing this because once you've lowered the fourth one and killed all the enemies, they won't respawn. <clears throat> so just make sure you um, just keep just keep one of the switches unactivated. So here we are again, then just dropping down, running around, picking stuff up. Uh, there are two soul chests in this room as well. Um, if you are playing on the chaos mode, um, each crystal gives you three crystals. So grabbing both of those chests will give you nine each for a total of eighteen. And yeah, we did a run yesterday for about 25 minutes or so, and we got roughly two and a half thousand crystals, somewhere around there. So it's a very nice spot. It's much better than the DLC, DLC 2 farming spot. 
in my opinion. Um, this is what I believe so far to be uh, the best room for doing this. So, nothing much to say here. It's just pretty much the same old, same old. Just killing stuff. Shooting things till it dies. <laughs> so, the next cut should be um, at Shades over the next, over the other side of the room, pulling the second switch. Because at this point, it's been roughly six minutes or so. Yeah, sometimes guys like to um, come up behind you and flank you, so be careful with that. And there you go, there's the cup then. So as you can see, Shades is now the other side of the room. And uh, he's currently pulling the second switch to lower the bridge. And as you can see, you can pull all, you can pull the, like I said, you can pull the first three. Enemies will keep spawning. As long as you don't pull that fourth one, you're all good to go. And then the next cut should be to me running to grab the, I think, third or fourth switch. So there you go, there's uh, lower the third bridge up on the screen so there we go that's me going over to the fourth and final switch and then proceeding to clear out the area <laughs> so the challenges in each room are pretty much the same in this dlc as um as they were in the first two um you can um destroy all the all of the elemental barrels you can go for all of the uh, crystal chests and of course there's melee kills as well so there we are then that's the cut to um, entering the portal and then obviously once you're done with that if you don't want to continue to run just take out a tall weapon and just down yourself and bleed out and then you'll be transported back into dreamvale overlook sometimes the game likes to freeze there at that point so i cut it out and then here we are then, the final screen. 3,818 crystals. So that's roughly 1,300 crystals in that run alone. So yeah, that should just about do it. I hope this guide helped. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, until next time, take care. And as always, I'll see you all later. Goodbye for now.